Hello, lovely Libra, and welcome back. Thank you for tuning in. I greatly appreciate all of your love and support. If you're new, welcome in. This is going to be a general collective intuitive reading for the lovely sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. I hope you're all doing well. I thank you for all of your likes and your shares and your comments on this channel. If this reading resonates, if it doesn't, please come back and check out the reading next time. Let's see what the most important reading, the messages in this reading are going to be for Libra. Okay, Libra, that was fast. Aquarius energy, bringing love into the situation and, oh, believe in the impossible. Once in a blue moon just happened. So this blue moon was very rare that affected. It was ruled by Pisces, this moon. And we have show the world the real you, full moon in Aquarius. So Libra, what is going on here? So basically, for a lot of you here, you're connected to a past life connection here. For a lot of you, this blue moon, it was very rare. Something here could have come back up around a past life connection, okay? And it feels like this blue moon is really giving you that closure that you needed to close a cycle out. It also feels like it's giving you the confidence to show the world the real you now. Aquarius is about innovation, new ideas. Aquarius, Libra, and you, you and Libra, I mean Aquarius and Libra, you, you are for what's best for humanity. So whatever this is, Libra. It's about doing what's best for humanity now. It's about stepping into this higher frequency of having this unwavering amount of faith when it comes to your belief systems. When it comes to Aquarius energy, it's about showing the world what you got to give, right? Because you're stepping into your higher frequency, which is the 5D frequency overall. So this is about if you're an artist, if you're somebody who's a performer, if you're somebody here, Libra, who is in a relationship stepping into your life purpose, this is about bringing love and understanding to a, to a situation that creates this serene feeling. There's a lot of blending and alchemizing that'll be taking place the next two weeks until your birthday season. Happy early birthday, Libras. I love you bunches, okay? So bringing more love and blending into the situation. At the bottom of the deck is Aries energy. Now, Aries in your sign is there right now. So this is about energies of being ramped up, okay? The ram is uh, the energy of Mars and Aries here. And this is about amplification. A very fiery energy approaches Libra. This is about like the ram. The ram could do things on their own. The ram is the ram is, is a man sheep. It's a masculine sheep, right? It's like don't let okay yourself get lost in the feeling around grief. Stay clear of the feelings here that that bring you to this lower frequency. By bringing more love into situations that are hurtful, painful, right? There's a certain level of when it comes to this ramped up energy with the ramp, right? There could be somebody here that is in this fight mode. Somebody here, Libra, that that doesn't know their life purpose. Somebody here that, that's in this survival mode, okay? And it's like whatever grief is coming in around this amplified energy that gets ramped up around it, Libra, there's a place of bringing balance to your masculine and feminine. We all have masculine and feminine. So it's, it's a time to have more faith and don't control the situation. But be real with yourself when you show the world who you are. It's, it's a, a feeling of your identity. It's a feeling of reviewing something you wish you dream of, right? An opportunity that you wish to grow because it feels like you're wanting to take action in an area here. But when it comes to Mars, it's about stepping also into what does your heart tell you? What does your heart want, right? So it's about being in touch with bringing balance, okay, when it comes to your feminine and masculine needs here. So Libra, Libra. This is for Libra from today, the 4th of September, 2023. Spirit guides, this is until the 15th. Show me the energies coming through of what's to play out. Spirit guides. I see the Queen of Swords and the Nine of Wands here. 
I know it's hard to show you. There you go. At the cut. There's definitely that feeling of feeling like don't let yourself get lost in the grief, Queen of Swords. Detach, cut free from something here. There's that feeling here of staying clear, okay, of somebody who could be in a fight mode. There could be somebody that's coming at you, okay, Libra, that wants a fight. Somebody that's coming in to gaslight you. Somebody here that's trying to take advantage of you, right? But it feels like for some of you, this is a feeling here of detaching from that fight mode, okay? It's like clear energy. And like the Queen of Swords is not somebody here, like I feel Libra, who is going to be in a feeling here of sugarcoating something, okay? When it comes to somebody on the defense here, she's gonna use logic, you know what I mean? She uses logic, she uses clarity. Page of Wands is your card out, and the Ace of Cups, love. There it is, bring love into the situation. Speak your higher voice when it comes to spiritual issues. When it comes to family, Venus and Taurus is about the Hierophant, the teacher. So Cap, I'm just going to call you Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Capricorn or have it in your chart. Libra, this is about a marriage. This is about a family area that it requires, like I feel, a learned lesson here. You are in this disposition now of being in the Hierophant here. This is questioning about your beliefs that you're getting ready to explore. And I felt whatever this crossroads is with the two of swords that you may not see coming, that's been under the moon here, there is this feeling of things are starting to increase, like this fiery climax approaches with the page of wands. Good news, Libra, is on its way. I feel you're about to discover something here. And it feels like you're fashionable. You could be into fashion. You could be into designer clothing. You could be somebody here, Libra, who's getting ready, like I felt, to get all dolled up or to get like all dressed up because there is something here that you feel is calling you. And this is calling you because there's new love right there, Ace of Cups. This new beginning starts off with you, Libra, drinking from that Ace of Cups, which is a new beginning. This new beginning is going to be a very powerful, powerful Libra, New beginning that opens up the doors to long-term success. This is a powerful family dynamic. Like I feel for a lot of you, this person is someone here. Like I feel that you have a choice when it comes to what direction you move towards. This is a divine counterpart that part that's coming in. You have a choice to make around love and family. For a lot of you, Libra, there is a proposal on the table. There is somebody here that wants marriage, wants a, uh, a traditional family environment. There's a lot of tradition, family support around you, Libra, with the Ten of Pentacles and the, just, and the Hierophant in the reading and the full card. Get ready. Like, I feel, Libra, for a brand new beginning about being very clear on what you want when it comes to commitment and love. When it comes to decisions with the eight of cups here, there is a sudden realization of you walking away from this concept of how we think. There's a realization that changes everything with the two of swords. These are things that you might have not seen coming or a feeling of not recognizing or wanting to, to see something for what it was. But it feels like this whole new beginning of you walking away, knowing your values, okay? Emotionally, Eight of Cups is a feeling of you walking right into a brand new beginning with a divine counterpart, Two of Cups. There is going to be this unexpected realization. It's like when the two become eye to eye in a conversation, there's no hiding the truth from this, Libra, okay? There is a soul connection, Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups, you got a brand new beginning that tells me there's true love here. It feels like, Libra, this is also something here that you truly love, right? Believing in the impossible because something here is possible, right? This is about making it possible. Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups, Ten of uh, Pentacles. A very rich, wealthy environment of manifesting abundance here. Okay, for a lot of you here, Libra. Let's see. Let's clarify this reading for Libra. Why is the Hierophant 
okay? Your timing is Venus and Taurus. There's going to be changes around your relationship. For a lot of you, this changes it. This is about speaking your value, speaking your truth. This is about opening up to, like I feel, this abundance of love that's pouring in. You have so much love pouring in, labor around this family dynamic here. And like I felt, it's a new beginning that brings in a fresh start. Now, three of wands, four of swords, and queen of wands. A lot of you are going for it here. You're making a decision to be very clear. For a lot of you, you could have chariot. Cancerian is here. I love this card. It means that there's something you've been waiting for that you're getting ready to go for. This could be the a new beginning when it comes to a relocation, traveling, uh, leaving a hometown or moving towards a new location to move towards. These are things you've been thinking about. These are for a lot of you, Libra, your spiritual teacher, a psychic, a counselor. You're someone here, like I feel with all of this energy with Venus, being retrograde and coming forward, Venus is now in the position of being attracting abundance, right? Queen of Wands is a feeling here for some of you. Some of you have broken free from a contract or a marriage. For some of you, you've been on this breakup. And for some of you, like I feel, you've been waiting for your ships to come in and your ships are here. I feel that you're getting ready to move towards a divine counterpart. This cannot be stopped, okay? This is something that's here now that's unstoppable. Like with the Queen of Wands is determination, confidence, Aries energy, Leo, Sag. It's about following your dreams, following your passions here. It's about taking action. For a lot of you, Libra, you will be in a relationship, a committed partnership here. Someone here is very attracted. It's like they're all in. Somebody here is all in with moving forward in this direction. I feel that you're moving towards a new direction and you're overcoming your fears. Yeah, it feels like Libra with the strength card, Leo, Pisces or Cancerian heavily here. There is a new chapter in your life, Libra, that's opening up a new direction to move towards. I feel you've overcome a struggle here. You've overcome some kind of battle here. And now your confidence is where you're taking a stand. And it feels for a lot of you, you're stronger now than you ever were, Libra. And it feels like you're moving into a place where past this illusion, past this fear. And Libra, it feels like four of wands. Your love will be waiting, King of Cups. There is options when it comes to love. For a lot of you, Libra, you could have a choice, two of swords. For a lot of you, you're at a crossroads, a decision. There is somebody here that is proposing, Libra, to you. This King of Cups is somebody who is emotionally stable, someone who could be a co-parent, somebody who wants something stable. This could be a marriage. This could be getting grounded. It's like, let's take this to the next level. For some of you, this Seven of Cups is options and loves. And there could be a fear around commitment when it comes to this person, Libra. For some of you, you could be single for a while in separation. But like I feel it's bringing love into a situation. For a lot of you, you didn't believe it was possible. And now it's showing up in your reality that yes, it is possible for your dreams and your reality to come true, Libra. So there's a commitment that's coming in here for sure. A brand new beginning that's opening up that you're getting ready to embark on. Like I feel you're rewriting the scripts here, Libra, and you're moving towards something that you know you're willing to move forward on, okay? So I'm going to leave the reading there, Libra. Thank you for tuning in. I am available for a private reading if you should need one. The information is below. You can email me at mysticallady333 at gmail.com. Thank you so much for your love and your support and your shares. I really appreciate every one of you. Be blessed and happy early birthday again.